All right, Bonehawks, this video is all about Quan Chi and Shujinko. I have been messing around with Quan Chi Shujinko since like day one Quan was released and then kind of realized that uh, there might be some synergy here and then kind of put them on the back burner until we got some buffs and they pulled them, pulled them back out again, started playing around with some things. And let me tell you, there's one question we should be asking right now. Is Shujinko the best cameo to use with Quan Chi? No. But there are some matchups where it might be. So. <laughs> I can't. I'm not that funny. <laughs> Let's get into it. Accept your death. All right, so the first one here is Havoc, and this is kind of where, like, utility shines with uh, Shujinko. So if we get any sort of combo with Quan Chi, we can use the big steal from Shujinko to put that projectile on the screen, and Havoc just kind of has to hold that full screen, which means that we can also use that time to set up our portals, set up this thing, and there's lots of time between that. We can do this, we can do this. We can do this, into the bone cage, into the bone cage, and we can be charging Shujinko that whole time, throw it back out. Alternatively, he's really good here as well, because he covers pretty much the full screen with this move. Pushes back full screen, which is a, totally where we want to be, and especially if you want to use it in pressure, like say our opponents uh, get kind of give up his turn, we go down one into, whoops, sorry, down one into that. Create some space, and that's plus four. So get kind of gets Havoc off us, which Havoc is an interesting matchup because even though Havoc isn't the strongest character, uh, Quan Chi does struggle against him because a lot of the things that other characters can exploit, Quan can't because he's so slow. So Havoc's Rushdown can kind of be scary against us. So having an option like this where we can kind of just get away from that with uh, and kind of get out of that pressure is uh, very good. You just got to watch out for the roll. So I think Shujinko has some definitely uh, good traits here uh, against Havoc. And I'm just kind of going to outline the matchups where I'd probably use Shujinko in place of, say, Serena, my main cameo. Uh, these are all matchups where I would do that, and I'm kind of going to show you why. Now, I'm excited to show you what I think is actually the best matchup for Shujinko with Quan Chi. All right, so Geras. So Quan, of course, struggles getting uh, damage. So Shujinko does help out with that a lot by giving us an extra launcher. And we can get close to 400 damage. Meterless, 385, and then full screen pressure with our zoning or whatever we want to do. Uh, so that's just one aspect of it. A second aspect is we actually have a decent punish for the overhead, which is our standing four into Shujinko, into freeze, and to whatever combo you want to do from there. This one, for example, that I think 404. Yeah, 404. So 400 damage just because. Geras decided to use the overhead. It is a little bit spacing dependent. Uh, you can punish it at all ranges, but sometimes you have to do like a little dash in like that and dash cancel into the forward four, which can be tricky, uh, but having that huge of a punish off of his overhead at any range is pretty freaking cool. So those are just two quality of life things, and there's actually a third even bigger one. We can actually use the Geras Time Steal to do similar things that we would do with a Sub Zero Cameo in the corner uh, with the kind of time. Set him up, and then because Geras' wake up is just a single hit, we're armored by the time he gets up, and we're good to go. So that is really quite strong on top of the other things that you get and i think that would be the difference between the music because you could be like well why wouldn't i just use sub if i wanted to do that but you get all the other utilities as well with shujinko like he steals two combo launchers uh which is that one and it can actually combo i think off of neutral just just one of neutral it has to hit kind of behind them oh, i'm doing it i'm doing this wrong there we go And yeah, he can do directions as well, same as Geras can, full screen, in the middle, or up close. The timing for up close I find is a little tricky, because you got to go down forward, cameo back, which is a little tricky input, but practice makes perfect on that regards. And that combos, so that's like a full screen combo pretty much right there. 
That's crazy. That's craziness. So, yeah, I think this is one of Shujinko's strongest matchups, just in general, with everything that he takes from Garrus. But uh, the synergy with Quan, especially with that setup in the corner, is is pretty sick. Scrompion is another one that I would gladly switch to Shujinko for, and I have actually in my streams. People have. Uh, probably noticed it because there's just so many again quality of life little things one thing that's nice is uh you can cancel your down one into your shujinko conquest kick which is a mid and you can go into the spear if you want to try and catch somebody saying trying to counter poke and if they block the spear you're only minus three that's one thing that shujinko does in case you don't remember from my previous videos everything you can do i can do better so right up close spear is safe at minus three uh, so yeah, I've used this to kind of catch people countering. You do have to be a little bit careful with the input because when you go down and then back cameo, sometimes you just get that, which is the just the straight up Shujinko spear, uh, which will a poke will go under. So be aware of that. Uh, second thing that's nice with Shujinko is uh, the chip damage and meter build that you get because Quan Chi is such a meter dependent character. Having a string like like this. Like, that meter build is crazy. And then, you're, again, you're minus nine, so you have to be a little bit careful. You do that twice, that's a full bar meter. That's freaking insane. Actually insane in the membrane, insane in the brain. So, really, really good meter. Uh, and again, you could do that after a poke, too, if you wanted to. That's an option. Another nice thing is that standing for Shujinko Spear combos from full screen, uh, which means that Scorpion basically has to be careful wherever they're moving that they don't do something too crazy which also means we have a punish for this really annoying move here that is no longer safe against us decent damage too and all of this again is just on top of the fact that he gives us decent damage we get a combo we get like a a decent damage combo from it because shujinko adds the extender in there and we can save our meter for doing other things we can't really zone Scrompion, uh, but again, more utility. This is actually a matchup I, I definitely would use Shujinko in mainly. Another good matchup here is Sub-Zero. So we take, of course, the Ice Ball, which means damage. And really good corner carry, 351 all the way to the corner. And then what could be arguably even better is the slide for 110 damage. So not only can we have a decent uh, zoning game against Sub-Zero, we do have to be aware of the Ice Ball, but we can always throw that up for a hit of armor to absorb the Ice Ball, if that's kind of a strategy that you want to do. And then you're just constantly checking the movement with this, with this. Use the hit advantage from that to set up a portal. It's not guaranteed if you only have 12 hit advantage, but still. They're not going to be close to you. You get that as a mix-up too, although not the greatest mix-up, but it's there. So it is unsafe though, so be, be aware of that. And then we also get some shenanigans in the corner with our portal as well, similar to Gears. So we can do a standing punish into the ice ball, set up our portal, finish our combo however you want to. And we have our armor. Boom, 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 boom. My actual combo from the low here using the uh, conquest punch. Although you can't really finish that combo, so I mean it's something that you can definitely use. Uh, but yeah, basically anything into freeze, and we get the portal out right away. And then boom, armor active. Time to party. Head low. Why not? Unsafe, but. Yeah, so again, and then of course just having that the fear of Sub-Zero's own projectile to use against him. That's, that's, that's kind of nice, that's kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. Raiden works really well with us because we steal the teleport, which is a low attack. So it gives us some mix, so we can do overhead low like that. Boom, 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 overhead low like that. And the low being a little bit slower than that low makes that a little bit more of a true mix. So that's really nice, and then you can also do something like this. This is a little gimmicky, but I mean, you could if you wanted to break Raiden's armor. And then any armor he tries to do on Wake Up is toast. Uh, not greatest tech, but that corner combo into Shujinko Punch is actually kind of fun, and there's lots of cool things that you can do off of it. This isn't really that great, but this is just hilarious to me. Like, Shujinko coming out with a Peacemaker helmet on is so hilarious. I love that. 
Uh, that combos though, which is kind of nice. Pulling from certain ranges. Not too bad, though. Out that far. And then we get some decent damage with the uh, combo launcher, too, if we want to use that. This one isn't anything special. I more just wanted to show it off because of the helmet. I think that's really funny. This one is a little bit more of like a lab rat scenario, but like I actually think this could be really good. Uh, against smoke, we steal the invisibility. So if you get something like this, and you get knocked down in the corner, mix, invisibility, invisible armored. Although that is a little bit gimmicky. Um, I don't really know who would really be, be able to react to that too much. But yeah, invisible 50-50s on top of throwing in our armor as well. So even if you guess correctly, well, invisible, that's pretty nuts. Uh, he can also use this to start combos. That's not optimal, but like that's just like an idea, you know, three, three, let's, let's see what an optimal one will look like here. You have to start it off with one, two, though. Three fifty-eight. So yeah, the invisibility wears off at the end of the combo, but you're basically just using the invisibility for a combo extender, which is pretty interesting. Uh, but you do have to make sure that you know the timing because you don't have the actual visual cues to go by when doing your combos, which makes it pretty easy to draw. Shang Tsung is one where Shijinko just beefs up our zoning big time. Uh, because he steals the three skulls. Boom, boom, boom. Three skulls. R three skulls. Boom, boom, boom. Three skulls. Set that up. Uh, you can actually set up Big Chompy to go slow. And then it becomes much harder to duck those highs because you have a big old mid coming at you. That's some pretty sick chip damage, not gonna lie. And you don't have to use the three. You can hold it. Just do one if you want. Order two or hold it. And do three. You see three kind of whiffs at that full full range there. And then if you hit those three, you get standing four afterwards. So you get some projectile combos going on, which is actually which is actually pretty nuts, not gonna lie. And then the, of course the big steal is stealing whatever cameo. So then you get whatever cameo he's using. And then we get our Shujinko back afterwards. And that's it. If you know some Shujinko sauce with other characters, let me know down in the comments down below. But I really wanted to share this because I feel that in a lot of matchups, Shujinko is a really good cameo for Quan Chi, especially because he complements that standing four so well, which leads into some really good damage. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't, because we make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks, all that stuff, and we'll see all you Bonehawks in the next video. Accept your death.